So fam, welcome to another chapter of Mafia Definitive Edition. I apologize if I'm not uploading as much as our recent series. It's because I got caught up with school stuffs which I need to take care of. I am doing these videos as a hobby so please understand. <laughs> so for now, we are continuing on the 8th chapter of the game. In case that you missed any of the previous episodes, you can still catch up by checking out the playlist in the description down below. I love you guys. Thank you all for the support. Let's go! Saint and the Sinner, 1932. <laughs> hey, are they playing poker? Simple straight. He got him with a simple straight? <laughs> I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. <laughs> you want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. So we need right, to go. blow up a brothel and take care of a girl that works there. It's this counselor Sloan is slain. <laughs> go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Dude. Sam here is kinda sus though. He acting weird. So there's the ammo in here. Let's get those. 
And what's in here? Some arms. Revolver. Bucket. Oh, gold pistol? We got those. Of course. And this shotgun here. You think the whole house is gonna blow itself? What else is it in here? Nothing. About this knife. Nice. Are there more? Let's get this. Thanks, Vinny. Not today, Vinny. Squeeze? Sure. Sure, bro. Whatever you like. Let's go. Don't go any place yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. So, Sam and the girl had history within them? Michelle. She's a bit she's right? a Tom better, uh, you know. <laughs> Ever. They. I told you what I so had Sam's the one that leaking the information. Me. Okay. And he's asking me to disobey the dawn. I don't know. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager it's thinks kinda he's untouchable. You can probably walk big right deal, up. You know? Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Bloody died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. I'm here is asking what kind big of, of us. What is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? <laughs> I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? It's jealous. I'm going to a cat house here. First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All so... that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. Well, that's a shame. Seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one yeah. down. Thanks. I'll do that. Need to drive some to the St. No Michael's weddings. Church. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. <laughs> I couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Uh, he'll find someone. Tom. If his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Hey. We're the first to get married, I guess. Here's your so we need to go there. I'll sure. give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Sure. Now we need to go to Corleone Hotel. So the that's the family name of the Godfather, the movie. That's their family name. I guess their insignia was a lion. I guess if I remember, because I played the game, the the game of the Godfather, that I watched the movie. That was when I was younger before. So I guess. Corleone is a common name in a Sicilian family, I guess, or Italian. So we're going to visit this hotel here, the cat house. You behave yourself in here, okay? What's this? Know where I can find the manager? 
I just watched the door, pal. Sure, you're the security hey, guard. It's a baby. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like. And you can both get better acquainted upstairs. Hey. There's no rush. So get a drink. Relax and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, That's not the reason we're here, though. But I could visit sometime, you know? Ooh, just how I... Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. You don't know Michelle? We can just talk if you don't want anything else. We can do whatever you want. What's sure. a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. You're throwing Come yourself on, at honey. me already. Without you, how am I going to pay the rent? Oh, no, this one is older. But I can step you through what we got to do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. You know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. I need to get in line with her? Do I need to talk to this one? I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Hmm, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not yet, bro. The friendship I between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. Yeah, well, that's it. Guess I need to talk to you now. You must be the manager. Don Salieri sends his regards. Oh, shush. Get down. Get down. The, you need to hide. Oh, shush. Where are you, bro? Shut up, bro. That captain. Let's check these ammos here. Where are the other guys? That's it for him. Oops. Sit down, bro. Guess we need to recall this. Mm, get upstairs now. Let's go. Need to headshot this guy. Oh. Sit down, bro. Guess we need to go upstairs then. Uh, coming for you. Oh, shush. Where's the other guys? Is she not still in there? Yeah, what's this? Shell room 208. What room are we? Oh, I guess that's the indication there. I like this golden gun though. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. 
I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Hopefully this won't bite us in the end, you know. We're doing Sam a favor against the Order of the Dawn. But for now, we need to reach the manager's office. Oh, here. shish. How dare you. Sit down. Revolver. Need to get up. Boom, boom. Sit down, bro. Jeez. Let's get this med kit here. I mean, first aid? Yep, first aid. Hmm. Where are we going now? Boom. Oh, it's just... Cover me! My pleasure! Take a cover! Come here, bro. Down, bro. Not good, not good. That's good for you. Leave, you oh no. Let's get these ammos here. Then let's reach for this manager's office. What are these? Documents. Dear Mr. Galati, Henry Davis, Mr. Morello, <laughs> he needed that push. <laughs> Guess we need to run now. There's a lot of cops over there. He threw Oh no. Just Let's run for now. I guess we need, we need to. I mean, we can't Before take care of them for now. Italian looking, mate. Six four, Italian looking name. I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. He's up here with us. Oh, shush. Someone's. Oh, 
Someone's near us. Thought you'd get by, didn't you? Dad didn't think we'd be here to meet you, huh? Get up, bro. Oh, shush. I'd flunk you, bro. Didn't angle on him. Oh. I got his attention. Oh, ha, ha. Where are the other guys? Guess we need to go up here. The other guy. Nice. We doubt him. Oh, shush. Taking cover. Got a man down. That's for him. Oh, another one here. Let's go around. So I magazine here. I guess it's not here then. It's in here. Time detective. Sure, let's go. We need to go up again. There's the no first aid in here. On the roof. Feels like we lost him. Let's go down. Is this the church? Is this the bell area? Hmm, I guess. Escape through the church. Yeah, I guess we're in church. fallen we can find redemption in death now William he was a sinner yes but he was also a loving son a protective brother and a loyal friend and for those virtues we pray that his soul will find salvation and now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words thank you father I, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. Get down! <laughs> Let's get escalated Please. real quick. Get over here now! Boom. Sit down, bro. Oops. There's a stairs here. Oh, shoot. You could have stopped all this days ago. Someone has their Tommy gun there. Oh, shush. Boom. Where are the other guys? Oops. Let's go. Oh, no. I didn't be able to react real quick. This is the way this city works. Come out, cover me. Shoot him. There, up on the balcony. Bruh. 
I missed all of my shots there. Let me reload. Oops. They're throwing something now. Boom. Where's this your honor? You think I'm enjoying this? Stop! Please, please assault Can I go up here? Uh, I guess not. Oops. Yes, sir. Come pick me, bro. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. What have you done? I Murder in the house Sam. of God. Where's he? These men were criminals, father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell now we saw some here. As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Need to run now. There's still a lot of cops around. Oh, shush. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. There's no end to Can we run? Let's use this car here. Come, let's go, son. Oh, shush. Oh, no. A hearse? Oh no. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. We'll end up in the back. Need to run, run, run. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops. But there's a Chevron in there. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Let's go to that Chevron thing. Oh, shush. This car is quite drivable now. Yeah. I mean, manageable, so. not very Listen, hard to drive. I can make corners quite easier compared to those ugly cars that we've driven before. Yo, that's true. Let's Come make this run. I'm trying. No, shush. They got stuck. Let's go. Is this the chance we need? Hopefully. The guy's gotten away in North Park someplace. Keep looking. It'll turn up. Let's make it. Let's make it now. Hopefully they can chase us. Hopefully.
there's a cop over there but hopefully he can see us nice we made it there's a cop on our left side there you're telling me ah finally That was quite the mission there. Didn't expect this to become much longer. So for now, I guess we need to go back to our hideout. But a hey, the favor that we did for Sam there, hopefully it won't cause any troubles in the future of this game so that uh, I mean I don't know it's a mafia game after all we're in the tunnel actually this car is quite fast you know I didn't expect this to be fast car knowing that this should run slow for the family and for the what do you mean I mean what do you call this the sacredness of a funeral I don't know it's fast and I like it <laughs> almost there Thanks yeah, again, we're Sam, here for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Yo, that's it. Chapter complete. Nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. Well, I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year, until Frank Coletti, a uh, dance consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and by everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. 
or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. He started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There was another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Frank here is acting like our mentor, but it's nice. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. If you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like Winnie the Pooh.